In part one, we took on a small journey to find the meaning of professional camping. We stopped by and camped in a nearby forest, and now here we are. Not long after we left the camp, we had to drive past this small hill. This is not really a big challenge, but this is certainly quite fun to drive. Well, that thing is not that stable anymore. Well, let's do this. Ah, uh, tackling an obstacle like this is probably best to turn on the、uh, lockers. It's probably a bit overkill, but、uh, I reckon lockers is all for safety. So here we go. So a little bit off cambered as as a start, and then it went and all go okay. We not even a wheel lift. Easily done. It only took us maybe half an hour drive in gravel, another half in off-road. The off-road was rather short, but somewhat overgrown. I was driving on an average thirteen k's per hour. Finally, the trek took us to this paradise. At camp, I'm not going to talk about this place. I reckon it's a beautiful, beautiful spot. It's breathtaking as well. The rocks, the hills, the drive is not too difficult. But I have to say that this place is very protected and very quiet as well. It sounds a bit rough because of the winds. You might have heard that already. Let me check this out. These rocks are crazy, isn't it? It feels like if you if you are not careful, you'll basically go all the way down there. It's a pretty long way, indeed.
All right, welcome to the campsite. Um, earlier I talked about professional camping, and I think I can show you an example about it. Western Australia is a very harsh place in terms of sunlight. It's pretty dry down here, and awning, if you go out, is a must. And that is uh, an example of getting um, getting used to the outdoor elements. And uh, well, if you don't know how I mount this awning, it's a two, well, it's a 270 degree awning. If you have no idea how I how I've mounted this on the roof, be sure to check out my another video. Uh, it gives me really good shade of sunlight. And um, and. After several months owning this awning, I noticed there's a big problem, and that is the winds. This awning is rated to a certain wind speed, but down in Albany, it is a very windy place. If I do not have such guy ropes, the whole awning will be snapped. I want to prevent any disaster to happen and that's why I've got myself some legs and some really strong guy ropes with a bit of coil if you can see that a bit of coil on the ground over there it works as a suspension oh I gave you some ideas thank you for watching if you haven't already done so please subscribe you can also find us on social media, Facebook and Instagram at 4x4AdventureWA. I will see you in part 3.